All right, guys, I want to show you a quick video about uh, how WebSockets work in the browser and how uh, they are effectively unreliable at um, deciding whether or not the connection is alive. Uh, for instance, uh, I, I'm on websocket.org uh, at this echo.html, which provides a way of, uh, of testing uh, a WebSocket connection. So I'm just going to go through this real quick. Uh, you connect, it's connected. Uh, I've done this once before, so notice that we just got this uh, WebSocket connection in the uh, developer console. And then we can go look at the frames and what gets sent. So we're going to send something over WebSocket. We get a response. Everything is cool and happy. Uh, problem is, is that even the very basic of uh, internet connection drops is going to cause an issue. Um, for instance, let me go ahead and turn turn off my Wi-Fi, and there's no response. Uh, the this tester is not uh, responding at all, as if as if there's uh, a connection has been dropped. So, um, give you a detail about what it's supposed to do. Uh, it has on open, on close, on message, on air, um, and there's uh, on when it when the connection closes, it there's a disconnected. Event. Unfortunately, the connection isn't closed yet. The browser is completely fine uh, with uh, continuing to leave the connection open. Um, now, I'm not quite sure how long I've been recording this video, but uh, we could go even longer and, um, you know, w waiting for me to do that on here would be pretty boring to the person watching this, but I, I uh, urge you to try it yourself. So this is going to go on for a while and it's not going to notice the disconnection. In fact, the only, uh, even when we reconnect, um, nothing is happening. The, uh, the browser doesn't get any information about that. So I'm going to go ahead and reconnect. Um, it's doing its thing. Everything is fine. The only thing that actually determines whether or not our, our connection is alive is sending a request. So once we send a new frame, over the uh, website connection, it's going to finally realize, oh, we're not connected. And there, we're finally disconnected. Um, and this is a problem, in my opinion, uh, because uh, although a new, um, a new message sent from our side would have caused the disconnection, that's fine. Uh, a message sent from the other side uh, wouldn't have made it, and instead, we won't we won't be uh, receiving the push notifications that uh, that we would originally receive. What I would recommend instead is that if immediately if we get a, if if we know um, well so let me step back. The way to know that we're disconnected is to send a request and not get a response. Um, but uh, what I suggest we do is have a have a heartbeat. Uh, on top of our website socket connection that sends a request and if after uh, 15 seconds or so does not get a response we kill the connection ourselves rather than waiting. Uh, the reasoning behind that is uh, we don't want to wait minutes to tell the user oh by the way your app uh, is no longer working. Um, this could be an app level thing but I think this is something that the uh, web3 side of the web socket uh, connection could support and could support very easily. So I'm going to do another, um, oops, let me turn this back on. I'm going to do another example. Um, turn my, uh, I don't even hear my dog in the background. Turn my uh, internet back on. We're going to go ahead and connect. Everything's great. We're going to go click on this one. Header frames, we're going to send something over just to make sure it works and everything's working good. Uh, in this case, we're going to, um, uh, turn Wi-Fi off, um, and again, we can wait for this, um, we'll wait a while. Uh, and the last time I turned the wireless, uh, I, I turned the connection back on before sending a message, um, but in this case, I'm just going to hit send. Uh, and note that um, we're going to wait a long time before this disconnects. And 
that, um, in my opinion, should be managed on the Web3 side to get more, to provide more responsive apps. We shouldn't require apps to do this themselves um, because we already know that the, the connection is effectively dropped. So um, we can wait longer. It's not going to disconnect. Um, and I think if we rely on the internal WebSocket pinging um, or the WebSocket connection itself, we're going to have uh, poor user experience. And that's something that we can fix now uh, and, um, and fix it for everyone.